For the past few weeks, I've been buying plants for my garden, both annuals and perennials. Annual plants are delicate and only grow for one season in cold climates, but they can be perennial in warmer climates. Perennials are hardier plants that can withstand colder climates. However, there are also perennials that are tender and cannot tolerate harsh, cold climates. This is where the concept of cold hardiness zones comes in. Hardiness zones serve as a guide for gardeners providing information on whether a plant can withstand a climate in specific regions. I live in a cold hardiness zone 3 where plants need to withstand temperature as low as minus 40 degrees Celsius. We can also plant some plants with a hardiness zone of 4 but we treat them as tender perennials and provide extra protection for them to survive our winter climate. I will be sharing with you the plants I have bought both perennials and annuals. This beautiful red flowering plant is called Calibracoa by Proven Winners, also known as Superbells. It is red in color and specifically called Double Ruby. Superbells is a mountain trailing plant perfect for use as a container spiller. It grows to a height of 6 to 12 inches. The plant blooms from summer to fall. One of the great features of this plant is that it doesn't require that heading to continue blooming. It is an annual plant in cold climates and thrives in full sun. I have about 10 of these plants here. These ones are proven winners Supertunia Vista Snowdrift. Like superbells, these are also mounting trailing plants. They grow to a height of 12 to 24 inches and thrive in full sun to part sun. There are about 12 plants here. What I love about these plants is that they don't require deadheading to continue blooming. Whenever I deadhead the petunia, I experience a sticky feeling which is very unpleasant for me. these plants called cannas or canna lilies. They are not related to true lilies. I have two varieties here with two of them being red in color and the other one orange. The red ones grow to about 29 to 47 inches tall and bloom from June to October. The orange canna blooms from June to September and grows to about 35 to 47 inches tall. Both varieties require full sun. geraniums. They thrive in full sun and bloom from spring to fall. They typically grow to about 14 inches tall. begonias here called Portofino hot coral. They grow to a height of 12 to 20 inches. Aren't they beautiful? Begonias need good bright light but not direct sunlight. This is Coleus wizard rose. The leaves have a combination of green and pink colors. Coleus is primarily grown for its foliage. 
The height of this particular Koyu's variety is 11 to 13 inches tall. It is often used as a ground cover. There are two Ipomia marguerite plants here, also known as sweet potato. Sweet potatoes are primarily trailing plants. They are annual in cold climates but perennial in zones 9 to 11. specifically the Megacopa white variety. Bacopa is an annual for those of us who live in a cold climate. It is a cascade of hundreds of brilliant white flowers with a yellow throat from spring to fall. Bacopa is great in containers and hanging baskets. Next are the marigold fireball plants. They typically grow to a height of 9 to 11 inches and bloom from April to November. Gold Inca 2 orange plants. They typically grow to a height of 11 to 13 inches and bloom from May to October. There are three of these perennial plants that are hardy to zones 4 to 9. They are called pink cushion flowers or Scabiosa columbaria, butterfly blue. They grow to a height of 12, eight, 12 to 18 inches in full sun. Pink cushion flowers bloom from late spring to late summer and require dead heading for more flowers. Look at these flowers. It's beautiful and looks so delicate. These 
varieties are Mariachi Carmen Lysianthus. This variety of Lysianthus has full quadruple red flowers. Here is Lysianthus ABC1 yellow. It requires full sun and grows to a height of 36 to 45 inches, producing large, fully doubled yellow flowers. There are three Dracaena plants here. They grow upright to a height of 35 inches. Geranium Patriot White. They grow to about 12 to 15 inches tall. More of the Red Geranium. called Neon Serum. It is hardy to zone 3, which can withstand temperature as low as minus 40 degrees Celsius. It blooms from September to October and grows to a height of 18 to 24 inches. More of the Marigold Fireball. Time. It is an herb, although it does flower, I don't consider it as part of this flowering plant category. There are three Fuji Pink variety balloon flowers. They thrive in full sun to part shade and bloom from June to September. They grow to a height of 24 inches and are hardy to zone 3. I attempted to grow these from seeds and while they did germinate, they remain quite small. It would likely take months for the plants to reach its, this height, which is why I opted to purchase them instead of waiting for them to grow larger. brother a very happy birthday. I would also like to extend birthday wishes to my niece, the original Jonah Eisel, and my cousin Taling as they share the same birthday. Happy birthday to the three of you! 
I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe, like, and share this video with your friends. Your comments would be greatly appreciated. Don't forget to click the notification bell to stay updated. Again, thank you and until next time, bye-bye!